Welcome back, ladies and gents. It's been a while, hasn't it? Now let's get back to basics by doing what I do best. Complain. Being in quarantine for months, you get restless, more and more annoyed with people than you ever have before. But nobody, and I mean nobody, makes you roll your eyes more than Balkan people. Here's why. Ever find it annoying when they use speakerphone in public places? Like it's not a walkie-talkie. Plus, it's obnoxious as hell. Who the hell wants to listen to you screaming into your phone? I don't. Koi kaima kochesh? Pa, koi brand imaju? Imaju fage i deisi. Kako? Deisi. A? Deisi. Nisem razumela. Ma kupiću ovaj i ako ne voliš, jedi zna šta. Speaking of phones, it's extremely annoying to hear or witness people being rude to customer service just because they don't understand their broken English. I've worked in customer service. Trust me, it's just as annoying for the person on the other side of the phone. There have been so many times I wanted to just hang up and be like, oof, I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened, I think we got disconnected. You just want to yank the phone and be like, gimme that! I'm sorry ma'am, forgive him, he's foreign. Continuing with the topic of phones, don't you ever find it hard to get off the phone with someone, Balkan? It's like you're competing to get the last word in. Okay, on the chučemo se mi. Ja, chučemo se. Ajde, bye. Okay, zvaču te kasnije. Okay, bit ću tu. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Budi pozdravljen. I ti isto. Pozdravi sve tvoje. Aj, ciao. Okay, ciao. It's never ending. The next thing that really annoys me is when people change their native family origin depending on who they talk to. Let me explain. When you meet someone Balkan for the first time, they usually talk about where they're from over there, right? A number of people would say they're from Serbia proper, which is fine, but then they're like, oh, pa, ja sam iz Beograda. If your family is from Zemun, then f say Zemun. Don't give me that Beograd bullshit. There was an instance when someone did that to me, and when I shared that I'm from Bosna, they're just like, Hey, gde si bona? Ima mi a familiju u Banja Luku. Uh-uh, you don't get to hop the fence when it's convenient for you. On the same note, it annoys me when girls post on social media how much they miss it out there, how much they want to move out there and live the high life. Go! Who the f*** stopping you? Oh, that's right, you're just talking out of your ass. Got it. If there was a high life, then why the hell are all of them running over here? It's a tough life out there, man. Low job opportunities, poverty, corruption. Ain't nobody gonna care for your Gucci belt when you're working at the mini market off the side of the road. And speaking of over there, don't you find it annoying when they ask for the year that you were born and not your actual age? I'm sorry, ain't nobody got time to be doing math. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. But really, I'm like... 2021 20, minus 1976, carry the one. The next one on my list is something that a lot of people can relate to, especially if you're quarantining with your family. Don't you think it's annoying when your family members report something wild that they've seen on YouTube as fact? Like, Čuj to! Kažu ako skuvaš beli luk, vino i med zajedno i popiješ to dva puta na da nećeš nikad bi bolestan. Ja, beli luk je dobar za sve. Ajde da probamo! Super, eh? Come on, eh? Fuck draw up. Come on, man. Nice. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's just say it did not work. Don't believe everything you hear or see on YouTube or social media or anything like that. I mean, heck, anyone can upload anything to YouTube. Like this clip. Food and drink is a big part of our celebrations. And the biggest part of the celebrations is me looking pregnant after I eat. And even when I'm not hungry, I'll eat, which is a terrible habit. The thing that annoys me about all of that is when the host comes up to you and is like, eat more, you barely touched anything. Excuse me? My plate was full. I am not a human garbage disposal. And they find it offensive because they've been cooking all day and my fat ass wasn't capable of clearing my plate. Ooh, how about when you say you already ate prior to coming there? Ooh, I just feel the daggers in my back. Sometimes I just can't wait that long to eat, so I need a little something something. And it really depends on the chef, because sometimes I go hard on some grub, and then there's other times where I just eat the bread. Another thing, how about when they ask you if you want something to drink? And by drink, I mean alcohol. No matter the age. Newsflash, 
This may shock you, but I don't really like to drink. There is certain things I tolerate, so if you see me all up in the club holding a drink, it's probably water with ice. So when they ask me if I want rakia, vino, pivo, and I say no, they're just like, Are you sure? I'd pop in my lunch to finish the beat. I'm sorry. I'm choosing not to drink your nasty ass liquor and then drive right after. Is that like anti-Balkan? Sure, so be it. Consider me Americanized. 